Welcome to another PyQGIS tutorial, which is the QGIS API, uh, the QGIS Python API. And today we're going to be working on automatically rendering maps. So saving a map layer as an image using Python code. And sorry that this tutorial is coming out on Wednesday instead of Monday. I ran into some snags getting this figure out with the new QGIS version, version 3. Um, and so it took me a little longer to get that figured out. But let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go to plugins and open up our Python console and we'll open up a blank script. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an image to write this to. So it's going to be an image and it's going to be a Q image and we need to give it a size here. So this will be Q size and I'm going to make this 800 by 800 and then here we're going to need to give it an image format. And so we'll go Q image format and we're going to do the ARGB32 pre-multiplied. Can't make this box any bigger. Okay, I think that's what we want there. I'm going to close the parentheses and I'll just double check that to make sure I've got the correct format. And it looks like that's correct. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set uh, a background color for the image. And we'll do that with Q color. So Q color. And here I'm just going to give a, a RGBA values. Um, so red, green, blue, and uh, alpha. So we're just going to make it white, 255, 255, 255. Now my alpha, I could put zero here to make it totally transparent, or 255 there to make it totally white. And then we just need to do img.fill, and then we're going to give it our color. So we'll do color.rgb, and notice there's an RGB option or an RGBA. Um, you need to use the RGBA if you want to use the alpha band, um, or you can use RGB if you don't care about the alpha band. All right, so that gets our background color set. We have our image set up. I'll just make a comment here. Uh, create image. Okay, good deal. So let's move on here. So now we need to create a painter to paint the image. So let's get this and we'll just name this painter P. So our P will equal a Q painter. And then we want to go P begin. Okay, so that'll just start painting. And then we want to go P set. Uh, we want to set the um, rendering hint. I'm getting this wrong. Let me just check my notes here. Okay, so it's going to be set render hint, and it's going to be q painter dot anti aliasing. I'm just going to double check my spelling on that. I always get this one wrong. Okay, so we spelled that right. Now we need to set up um, the map settings, and so this is going to these are going to be the things that, that talk about the map extent and the map background color. So we're going to do ms equals qgs map settings. We're going to do ms dot set background color. We're going to give it the same Q color we just created. All right. And now we need to get the layers that we want to render. So set layers to render. And so here I'm going to do layers equals QGS project. So I want to get my layer stream order that I have in there. And I want to get an instance of this project. And I want to get map layers by name. And I'm going to get stream order. Okay. So that's going to give me a list of layers. I just want the first layer in that list. Let's do ms dot set. I think it's layers. There we go. And this needs to be a list of layers. So I'm going to go layer 
can zero and close the square brackets again. Okay, and that should set the layer that we're going to render. And once I have the layers set, I then need to set the extent. So I can be able to zoom in or zoom out on this. And I'm just going to make it a rectangle, which is going to be a Q rect. And we do MS. I think it's full extent here. So our map settings will give us the extent. Let me just double check the function call. So it's full extent. I'm messing up my capitals here. They always start with a lowercase. I need to remember that. And I do rect, and we're going to scale. We're just going to make it a scale of 1.1. And we'll do extent, And we'll give it our rectangle. Right, so that will set the extent of the layer we're going to create. I'm going to drag this, if I can get it, a little bigger so we can show all our code at once. Well, it's going to do that, though, so I'm not going to. We'll try it out at the bottom. Okay, that's a little better. Now we need to set the size of our output image. So we'll set output size... And so now we're going to do ms.set output size, and we can just do img.size. And so that's a really easy thing to do. And the next thing we need to do here is we need to set up the actual map render. So this is going to be the call, um, the, the, QG, the QGIS map render. So set up the QGIS map renderer. We're going to call this render. And this is going to be a QGS map renderer. Oops, forgot the pen. Renderer. And we want a custom painter job. And here we're going to give it our map settings and our painter. All right. And now that we have this, we can do render dot start, start render dot wait for finished. And so um, if you connect signals and slots, the the renderer can go off and run while you're doing something else. We're just going to wait for it to get finished. And we can do p.n. So remember how up here we did p.begin, we began painting. Now we're ending painting. Okay, and then our final step should be to save the image. So that's painted our image, and now we just need to save it. And I am going to save mine to C temp uh, test render okay dot png and so that should be everything we need i'm just going to do a quick double check on my code and make sure i haven't missed something before we click run all right i think we're good i am just going to add uh, a statement down here so that i know my image is saved uh, and then i can go forward after that all right, so let's go ahead and click Run here. And we get an error. Line 1, line 10. Cube paint device. Not enough arguments. Okay. Oh, I need to put tell it what it's painting. It's painting the image. So let's... Uh, okay, good deal. So let's go... Delete the painter just in case it still exists. And then let's click run again. And we get another problem. So this is too many arguments. Look at line 22. Okay, let me just double check the code for that. Okay, and this should be Q, Q rectangle, not Q rect. All right. Let's go ahead and click run 
Again, I'm going to delete the painter again. I run into problems um, with deleting the painter and it crashing QGIS. So hopefully we don't have that. Q rectangle is not fine still. Okay, let me double check that again. Okay, my problem here. QGS rectangle. So I'm getting myself mixed up between uh, the QGS API and the Q cute the pi cute api so this should do it and once again i'm just going to delete the painter so we can be sure it doesn't exist and we'll click run okay now it says my image is saved let's go find that image so i'll go to my temp folder which is right here test render let's go ahead and open that up let's see what it looks like it's going to take a second here my computer likes to be slow with images All right, and there you have it. There is my layer that I have exported. So we'll close that, and come back over here. Okay, so uh, we're at about just over 10 minutes of video here. So I'm gonna end this tutorial here and we'll, in the future, we'll come back and work on getting legends and adding other layers and things. Um, that's kind of a lot of code to go through now. You can find this code. I'm being, I've been really bad at getting these up on the website. But if you go to my website to another PyQGIS tutorial, and if you click the repository link there, it will take you to the repository that all the code is located in. So I do have all the code in the GitHub repository uh, under open source options. And if you go to the open source options in the PyQGIS tutorials, you can see the code. Um, it just won't have an explanation with it. It'll be the code that we've gone through here in the exercises. Um, yep, so you can check out the code there. And once again, if you have any questions or, or suggestions, please leave a com comment below. Um, I'm kind of slow with these. I have a lot of other stuff going on, but I'm trying to get out uh, one of these a week or at least every other week. Uh, so thanks for watching. I appreciate the support and have a great day.